today's the day I paint. So I'm going to start with the back side and um, get it all done and then I'll do the other side. So it's going to be several steps. I'm going to be doing it the same way I did my um, uh, hood hinges where I had to paint both sides in one shot. So it's going to take all day between all the flash times but um, I want to get it all painted and um, cleared on both sides in one shot. Obviously the back side won't get so much um, but I will be doing both sides. So, we'll take a look at it when I, when I put on the first, uh, the first side. So here's the gun I'm going to be using. This is my 1.4 tip gun and the pressure that I'm going to be spraying it at. Let's get a clear shot. Let's see if I can get a clear shot there. Okay. About 23 PSI and the line pressure is about 90. So, I'm going to start spraying this and um, we'll check it out when it's all done. Okay, two coats on the back side. And the camera's not going to pick up all the metallics. But um, I did the back side and it does look ugly, but the paint looks beautiful. And remember, this is the back side, so I don't care. It'll, it won't be seen, um, so it really doesn't matter to me. But I'm going to let this flash off and then go on to the other side. Okay, I got it flipped over. And funny thing happened in the morning. Um, I put up my fan and I didn't secure it with the window. And I had already set up all this area. And then all of a sudden, the fan fell off and right on top of the panel and it made a little bit of a dent and so frantically and flipping out I decided to just try to block it out and I did the best I could and um, let's just hope it comes out nice um, it looked like it blocked out but since I didn't want to blow through and I didn't want to risk um, you know getting down to the other epoxy layer because I don't have any more epoxy um, I just did the best I could and hopefully this will come out good so we'll see when I put the coating on you know accidents happen and in this case I can't fix it as good as I would like but oh well it's just a radiator support panel we'll see how it comes out and along with the painting of this I said I was going to paint a couple of um, extra things. Well, these are the extra things. Those button screws that, um, that I'm going to be putting on what is it, the, the wheel wells for the front. And then, of course, the one area in the center there. So I wanted to paint these so that at least I have some red buttons to install later on. So we'll see how all that comes out later on. So here are my buttons. I did three coats of the Velocity Red and they came out pretty good. And then as far as the panel, same thing, three coats with a final uh, cross coat and you know I always, whenever I, I spray this um, metallic color, I always go in a, you know, <clears throat> variable pattern so that I can uh, ensure that I don't have any um, striping since this is a high metallic color so um, that's how it looks now with three coats and you can kind of see there's like a little bit of a way from the accident that happened this morning but when I look at the panel it, you know only in the reflection I can see, only in the reflection when I go this this way I can see it but when I look down the panel it's not so much so that little accident is not going to take away from the overall effect of what I'm going for for this panel and um, 
Now what I gotta do is I'm gonna let this flash off for about, I don't know, half hour or so. Maybe 40 minutes. And then I'm gonna flip it over and then get on the clear. So I got the panel all hung. And I'm only gonna use the hanging procedure to paint the back side. Um, because I want the front side to be perfectly level so I want to put it back on the table so I just hung it up temporarily to paint the, the back side and after it somewhat dries I'll take it off of the the wire and then I'll place it on my my workspace so that I can paint the top which the top of course is the most important part and it's the part that's going to be seen, but I want to paint the back side because I want to at least give some protection to rust. And, you know, just to, just to give it that protection. So I'm going to do um, two light coats for the back. And then uh, wait a while, take it down, and then I'll proceed to the top. Well, here it is, clear coated. And when you have it over here... Is it right there a bug landed in there um, while I was flashing and I wasn't here I, I left so that I can let it flash and I came back 20 minutes later and I saw the bug in there and what I did was I took a pair of tweezers and got as much as the bug out as I could and you know the legs are still there pieces of the leg but um, you know I flattened it out with the clear I hammered it on there um, but it looks good and from this height you really can't see it that well I mean I see it because I know it's there and you can see it but oh well what are you gonna do stupid bug I'm not gonna you know sand the whole panel down just to you know get that out because it is just a greater support panel but you know when you want something perfect things just happen and I guess I wanted this you know to come out just perfect and I was just trying my best to uh, um, you know do it as perfect as I could and the fan falls on top of it and then right when it was coming out beautiful a bug lands in it so oh well but you can see no orange peel no orange peel at all and um, I just sprayed it nice and wet and gave it four coats due to that stupid bug but um, gave it four coats of clear and it's, it looks beautiful oh and I almost forgot the buttons. I did uh, three coats of clear on the buttons. So they came out really sweet. Not much can go wrong with these tiny little parts. Not like the big part. But it's all ready. So the panel came out nice overall. I'm happy with it. Aside for the mishaps but it's finally done. Thank you very much for watching.